Hi there, Cosmo family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. Well, today I wanted to remind you first that we have the conjunction between Mercury retrograde and the Sun in Aries. It is a moment of illumination, of revelation, of aspects about the, the direction that we have to assume, things that were manifesting on the eclipse, aspects of the past too. So it is good to be attentive. And uh, on the other hand, I wanted to talk about a little bit more of this comet, the devil, because it has a very particular name. And, you know, the, the fact that it's reaching its closest point to the sun on April 21st, uh, I think that I commented on the video of the energies of the week, uh, day that we have the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. Uh, here in Argentina, it is perfected on, on the 20th. So... Taurus represents the earth and this event given in that sign means that we are receiving a big actualization, an expansive Jupiter actualization, uh, an expansive change of the planet earth. This is a big deal. So uh, many of you could already know that devil signifies adversary. In Hebrew, uh, it is used the word Satan, uh, which means um, opponent. And in videos, and in previous videos, I explained how this force is not opposing God because God is a, an infinite energy that is part of everything, even of that force. These are concepts that respond to old dualities, old human dualities. So this force operates showing us the shadows that we, that we have to illuminate and the things that we have to correct elevating our consciousness. Satan or Saturn uh, creates limits, divide. And as we know, when we use limits to focus the energy, this is collaborative with the path. Uh, the fact not putting healthy boundaries, not putting these limits, many times creates limitations and obstacles, an opposing force outside. But also when we are fragmented inside, uh, I mean, when the when the soul is um, doing a call and a part of us is resisting, uh, when the conditioned mind is judging or it is lost in thoughts that are draining our energy, that also creates obstacles in in our in our path that could also <laughs> be projected uh, on the outside. So, I am feeling that we are in times where. The, the path is getting narrower, you know, narrower, because the purpose of this is to awaken our potential and the light that, that we have inside, to expand it. So what we call tests, what we call obstacles and challenges, they appear to align ourselves with the soul, to detect where is necessary to direct the energy and the wisdom that it, uh, Saturn in Pisces is offering us right now, uh, together with Mars, because this transit was, were the they were the the protagonists of of the last eclipse, and they are still on track. So the wisdom of Saturn in Pisces is metaphysical. It is to comprehend that our action has to be accompanied by an inner coherence. And to practice this unification every time that we are feeling in a contradiction or fragmented inside uh, for love to oneself and to everything that surrounds us. Because, um, well, all the roles are important. All the roles are important. And the mind many times is, um, you know, underestimating how can, how can can we help how can everybody help and um, when they are sharing their light in the in the way that each soul chose to do it uh, chose to do it because we can we can uh, share the the energy the feedback we can um, i don't know the the word right now but this gives us forces to continue gives us a strength and it also reminds us that we are not here to suffer only. We are here in these times, in this world, to co-create a more loving reality from the inside to the outside. So uh, I just wanted to leave this reflection today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.